guys, it's Ellen, and if you don't know me, I am, I actually don't know what I am. I'm just a girl making some YouTube videos. <laughs> I'm also just a girl standing in front of a boy asking him to love her. Hello guys, it's Ellen, and... For the last video of January, I wanted to do something with New Year's resolutions, but I actually never really have that many resolutions. And it's also so basic, like eating healthier and sporting more often and stuff like that. And it's kind of boring to watch. But my biggest New Year's resolution for this year is to stop being a quitter. And I just am a quitter. <laughs> Sometimes I start things and then I just end up quitting because it's getting too tough or I just can't keep up with it and I just lose all my motivation and then I stop. And it's really annoying because I always have such motivating ideas and then I really want to like keep on going but then I just stop. So if you guys have the same problem as me, then keep on watching because today I'm going to give you some tips on how to stop being a quitter and keep on going even though it gets tough because it will get tough. <laughs> and wait until the end because my last tip is going to be the best tip I have for you because yeah, I just think that that tip works the most, although the other tips work as well, of course, but yeah. Let's jump into the video. So the first tip I have for you guys is to write down the motivation that you have when you start. So whenever you start a new sport or a hobby or a YouTube channel or an Instagram account or it can be literally anything, just write down why you want to start. So because in the beginning you have so much motivation and you just are so positive about the new things and just everything and at some point the motivation is gonna go down. You are kind of seeing more negative things and only the positive things whereas in the beginning you only see the positive things so it's very important to get that motivation that you have in the beginning write that down in a notebook and then whenever your motivation is getting a little bit down and you are starting to see negative things and you're just doubting if you still want to go through with it then just grab your notebook and read why you started this thing because then you are gonna get motivated again with your own words and of course you can always just write that down on your phone as well if you don't want to waste any paper but I also write down why I started my um, workouts and it can be just literally anything so the next tip I have for you is to follow people that inspire you and that have reached the goal that you want to achieve as well and for example, if you want to become a YouTuber, then of course you are gonna watch a lot of YouTubers that already have a very big amount of subscribers because they keep on motivating you and they keep on proving that you can achieve whatever you want if you keep on going. Or if you want to lose weight, for example, then you can follow people that lost a lot of weight, um, so they keep motivating you as well as people that you know that are also achieving what you want to achieve and you can always talk to them and they can also keep motivating you. They are literally the living example of achieving your goal. So they can literally tell you and prove you that you can achieve that goal as well because if someone else can do it, you can do it as well. The only thing you have to do is work hard improve yourself all the time and never quit. So the next tip I have for you guys is to tell as many people as possible about your goal. 
So for example, if you want to lose weight and you want to have a healthier lifestyle, just tell as many people as possible in your surroundings. So whenever you have a craving and you want to eat something unhealthy, but you are surrounded by other people, you're not really going to do that because they know that you want to eat healthy and they're probably going to tell you something about it as well. And also when you are by yourself and you have every possibility to eat something healthy, Obviously, we all know I meant unhealthy. You're still not gonna do that because you don't want to embarrass yourself in front of so many people and have to tell them, well, I didn't really lose weight because I couldn't achieve my goal and I, I actually quit my goal because then you're gonna embarrass yourself towards other people and they're also going to be a little disappointed in you, which you don't want, of course. So that's also a perfect way to keep on going and to keep getting motivated because of the other people around you. So the most important tip I have for you guys is instead of having one big ass goal, like having 100,000 subscribers or having 100,000 followers on Instagram or stuff like that, divide it into smaller goals. No, this is not good at all, Ellen. This goal is too big. No, it's not good. Just rinse it off and divide it into smaller goals. Yes, you heard me right. Just get rid of this goal <laughs> thank you so much so this goal is too big and this is going to take ages until you can reach that goal and that's not going to help you stay staying motivated so instead just divide it into smaller goals that you can reach so much faster so for example i wrote down having a hundred subscribers and then having a thousand subscribers and then having a five thousand subscribers and stuff like that because that is so much easier to reach than a hundred thousand and then whenever you reach a goal you uh, can give yourself a reward for example having an unhealthy snack and watching your favorite netflix series because that can be so good but you can also reward yourself with going to the movies or having dinner or something you really like and that feels like a reward because that's going to help you stay motivated so much more and for example, I wrote down some YouTube goals that I have. So for example, having my first 50 videos and then next to it, I wrote down my rewards. But as you can see, I still have to think about the rewards because I really want it to be something meaningful and something special. So the only reward I wrote down right now is having a new mic when I reach a thousand subscribers. So it is so much more motivating to get a reward and to have small goals. So yeah, that's why this is my most important tip of all. Okay, so I hope you guys like this video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. And I really hope this video inspired you and motivated you to stop quitting and just keep on going with these tips. And I hope it worked. So I'll see you in my next video. Bye! gosh this is gonna be a problem <laughs> oh no what a bad lipstick <laughs>